This afternoon, the boat captain accused of driving the smuggling boat that crashed into the rocks off Point Loma on Sunday, killing three people, faced a judge virtually. And Fox 5's Ashley Jacobs is live downtown where those charges were just read against Antonio Hurtado. Ashley. Maria, good afternoon to you. He is accused of bringing immigrants into the U.S. illegally and assaulting a U.S. Border Patrol agent. And today, a judge told Antonio Hurtado what's next. A total of 33 people were pulled from the rough water near Cabrillo National Monument Sunday. Three drowning after taking blunt force trauma to the head when this boat crashed into the rocks, breaking apart. The rescue efforts went on for hours. The captain, identified as U.S. citizen Antonio Hurtado, now faces federal charges, accused of illegally bringing immigrants to the United States and assaulting a U.S. Border Patrol agent during his arrest. Migrants interviewed by investigators say they paid between fifteen and eighteen thousand dollars each to be smuggled to the U.S. on this boat. Twenty-one of them identified Hurtado in a photo lineup. Federal prosecutors say Hurtado is a flight risk and dangerous to the community, so he will be back in Judge William Gallo's courtroom next Tuesday afternoon for his detainment hearing. He will be in court two more times this month. His preliminary hearing will be May 18th, followed by an arraignment May 27th. And Maria, no cameras were allowed in the courtroom, but according to court documents, two of those um, people on that boat were 15 years old, traveling by themselves, one boy and one girl. Now, all of the migrants were Mexican citizens, except one, a Guatemalan man, remains in the hospital tonight. Reporting downtown, Ashley Jacobs, Fox 5 News. All right, Ashley, thank you so much.